from the station putting local first. You're watching Studio 9. Good evening and welcome to Studio 9. I'm your host, Patricia Maese. And this week, we're starting off the show by honoring our veterans. It's a day that honors all veterans, the brave men and women who have served our country in war and peace. And although the goal is to honor them every day, on November 11th, we thank you for your sacrifice and service to our country. And as we look ahead to Veterans Day this week, we also remember that our area, our communities, El Paso, Las Cruces, El Gordo, a large contingency of the families who live here are made up of military members and retired military members. Joining us now is John Ceballos. He is a spokesperson for the 82nd Airborne Division here in El Paso. Thank you so much for joining us. Now talk about the importance of remembering and honoring all our servicemen and women as we look ahead to Veterans Day. Well, sure, and thank you so much for uh, um, honoring us, Patricia. Uh, it's very important that we remember our veterans. So many have made uh, extreme sacrifices. And a lot of people, you know, when they see us veterans, they say, well, you guys are heroes, but we don't see ourselves right. as heroes, you know. The heroes are the ones that, uh, that never made it home, the ones that are buried in the cemeteries over in foreign countries, you know, things of that nature. But because we are a uh, military community here in, in this area, uh, it's important to remember the extreme uh, sacrifice that these uh, men and women have made in service of this great nation of ours. And it's because of these veterans that we have the great nation that we have and we enjoy the freedoms that we do each and every day that so many of us take for granted. Absolutely, we forget that we wouldn't be who we are or where we are if it wasn't for the men and women who serve every day and they serve silently, not wanting recognition. We don't know that they're out there involved in dangerous situations. We were talking about the 82nd Airborne Division and how you all involved in helping to keep really the world safe and of course our country. Talk a little bit about how the 82nd Airborne Division, the men and women who've served, how they are involved when there's any sort of conflict or mission across the world. Yeah, well, the uh, men and women who serve in the 82nd Airborne are all uh, airborne qualified. They're paratroopers, um, the veterans that jump out of the uh, perfectly good airplanes, so to speak. Uh, but uh, the airborne forces are the rapid deployment forces, uh, the forces that have to be ready to go. And uh, they're also considered the 911 of the world because whenever there's any kind of conflict, forces need to be moved into a specific area. Uh, they're generally dropped in by air and uh, it can be the Navy SEALs, uh, uh, Special Forces Green Berets, or the 82nd Airborne, any of the uh, rapid deployment forces, they're gonna be the first ones that are uh, gonna be in the fight and uh, ready to engage the enemy. And talk a lot about what we're gonna see here, the pictures and the badges and the uniforms and the patches and the hats uh, that we're gonna see here where we are as far as the people that you're honoring and remembering. Yeah, we have a, a lot of specific individuals that we honor in this, uh, this area here. We have four Medal of Honor recipients that uh, are members of our organization. Our organization is actually named after two of them, Roy Benavides and Robert Patterson. But we also had uh, Colonel Joseph Rodriguez and um, uh, one of the others that were Medal of Honor recipients that were members of our organization. But you see uniforms not only from the Army, but from various uh, branches of service because we want to bring attention to not just the paratroopers of the Army, but to all of the uh, veterans and the armed forces of this great nation of ours. Well, and of course, we thank you, John, and we thank every service member, everyone and anyone who served. Thank you so much for your service and what you have done for our freedom. Thanks so much, John. Thank you. Appreciate it, Patricia. We're in beautiful La Mesa, New Mexico at Calhoun Flower Farms with one of the co-owners here, Susanna Calhoun. Tell us what you guys actually do here. People would be surprised that you grow your own flowers for events, sourcing. Tell me about it. Yeah, definitely. So this is a woman-run flower farm that we emphasized on really making sure that this beautiful borderland can get quality flowers grown sustainably and humanitarily. So 
That's, that was our main goal and we wanted to be able to give a very high quality product uh, while still being sustainable to this area and using less water and using new techniques that we can implement here in the Southwest. Now we're in La Mesa, close to El Paso between Las Cruces. Um, it's hot here in the region, in the area, the southwest, but you can grow beautiful flowers here. And a lot of people don't know that. You th we think everything dies because of the extreme heat. Not true. Not true, not true. So actually we use the heat to our advantage. We have an accelerated growing time because of the heat. So actually now we're 100% outdoor grown and um, that actually allows us to grow even more flowers than say New York or Washington where they have limited seasons. So. so I'm holding dahlias right now and they're so beautiful. She just picked them and handed them to me. But some of the other stuff that you grow here and that you source to local florists and also out of the region as well. Right. We also source, um, we usually source source from American grown farmers if there's something that we can't grow or a bride specifically wants um, but we always focus on those American grown uh, flowers especially if they're grown inside the state we'll source from Texas and New Mexico um, for anything that our client wants or we can custom grow for them we'll put anything in the ground for them that they might want really and yeah. they can do it here and it's such a magical place I mean if you don't follow them on social media you should it's absolutely beautiful your morning pics as you're taking care of the farms and the flower pot the flower what do you call them the tracks the trails the rows the rows lots of dirt in general lots of we've dirt. embraced the dirt completely it's such a beautiful <laughs> beautiful place now you're doing dozens of weddings a year you're doing events you're sourcing to florists i mean you're doing everything talk about how you guys got started in this so what we did was we really tried to focus on who's local, who has been here for a while. So we focused on those florists that have been here, have that clientele, have a storefront. And we approached them and said, hey, you can offer a local source for your clients and make it that much more special for their day. So that's what we focused on. And social media really helped us since we don't have a storefront. That was our way to connect to all sorts of demographics that might not know that this can happen in their area. And you're also going to be teaching people flower arrangements yes. with also locally grown flowers. That's going to be happening in Whole Foods. Tell me about that. Yes, and we have different events like this so that we can interact with our community. We have an incredible, incredible community that supports all of us so well. And so we wanted to be able to connect with those clients that have supported us. So the workshops really help us, um, especially in educating what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So we'll be teaching centerpieces, sage smudges, wreath workshops, different things like that in order to broaden that kind of knowledge base of flowers. You guys do yoga classes here as well, mm -hmm. a lot of events. Follow them on social media, Calhoun Flower Farms. Thank you so much, Susanna. We're going to have a link on our website. Head on over to ktsm.com. And as always, click on the Studio 9 tab. Beautiful flowers. <laughs> Thank you. And still to come on Studio 9, we take you up the road to Advanced Dental of Las Cruces and show you why taking care of your teeth is so important. That's next.
Studio 9 sponsored by Tropicana Homes, building homes in the El Paso area for more than 69 years. Tropicana has been recognized locally and across the state multiple times as the best builder of the year and best developer of the year. There are nine Tropicana communities currently serving the El Paso area. Find out more about Tropicana on our website at ktsm.com and click on the Studio 9 tab. Okay, let's talk oral health. I'm here at Advanced Dental of Las Cruces with Dr. Harvey Ryder. Welcome to the show, Dr. Ryder. Let's talk about the importance of oral health. A lot of people neglect their teeth, but how important is it to have good, healthy, clean teeth and do regular checkups? Well, one way you can tell, you, you uh, lose a tooth and people go crazy. You know, they, they don't like to go to the dentist. For no one does, yeah, it's true. Many reasons. But if they're gonna lose, especially a tooth uh, more towards the front, they come rushing and they, they'll, they'll do anything not to have that happen. Uh, and if they lose all their teeth, it's like losing their life, honestly. I mean, you see people wearing uh, dentures and all that denture stuff in drugstores. It's because they don't work. So teeth are uh, extremely, extremely important. And that's why we need to take care of them. And you specialize in implants, but we want to be preventative, right? And get regular mm -hmm. checkups and have clean teeth, brushing our teeth. We show our kids when they're little. But when you start losing your teeth, it's an indication of what? Is it always a, an indication of bad health or it could be for numerous reasons? Uh, well, it could be for numerous reasons. But, uh, very often, it's people are diabetic. Okay. It affects their gums, um, affects their gums, affects their breath. Um, their teeth start moving around. They get spaces between their teeth. And some people just have bad oral uh, hygiene, so they get a lot of cavities. Um, and then you ignore them. People ignore those cavities, which then happens. What happens? Well, eventually they'll have pain, but not all the time. You could have all kinds of uh, disease in your mouth and not know it. People get used to it little by little, and they don't like to go to the dentist, so yeah. they, they, they sort of put up with it, especially men. Yes. Women are, women are much better about it. A little it. bit proactive. That comes to their yeah. health, too. And so, and help me understand this. Um, an indication of good health and, or bad health, it'll start to show on your teeth as well. Is that true? Especially with people that have blood sugar, diabetics, mm -hmm. there you'll, you'll definitely see it. With there, and if you're right. doing also like bad hygiene as well, not cleaning your teeth, keeping them clean, Yeah, bad brushing. hygiene, yeah, and, and also you get close to a person and you know it. Yeah. You get close to a person that has gum disease and you're gonna move away. Oh, because you do know it, absolutely. Yeah. Especially in this area when we have, where we have in Las Cruces and El Paso, the borderline, a high co concentration of diabetes. Uh -huh. So it starts to show in dental health. So you get to the point where you do have to get an implant and mm -hmm. you start to lose teeth. Um, what do you tell a person? What, what do they need to be prepared for? Well, if they're losing teeth, they already know something has to be done. Uh, if they're, it gets to the point where their teeth are starting to move around, uh, they also know that something is going on. They don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, you know, the best thing is to, since most dental disease is not that people are not aware of it. Yes. They don't have pain. Yeah. The best thing is to go to the dentist uh, twice a year for most people, get your teeth checked, uh, and get things taken care of when they're small. That way, you know, you avoid all the pain, you avoid all the expense, uh, and you have your own teeth. Because, you know, implants and stuff, are, they're great uh, when needed, but there's nothing like your own teeth. And there's nothing like a great smile. Absolutely. You know? Thank you so much, Dr. Ryder. We're gonna be back with you next month with more expert advice on having and keeping and maintaining that beautiful smile. Thank you so much. And for more information on Dr. Ryder and Advanced Dental Las Cruces, head on over to our website, ktsm.com. Click on the Studio 9 tab. And still to come on Studio 9, we talk beauty with True Med Spa. We'll show you how easy it is to give your face a lift without going under the knife.
Okay, it's time to talk beauty, and this time we're in Las Cruces at True Med Spa. I'm with Sandy Loban. She is the owner. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Patty. Let's talk about True Med Spa. How long have you guys been open? So I've been at this location for five years, but I've been injecting for nine years now. Nine years. And talk about what you offer here at True Med Spa and how you realized that there was a need here in Las Cruces. Well, um, I used to work at a, a different med spa, mm -hmm. and I realized that there's definitely a need. Um, we're underserved here. Everybody and wants course, to look beautiful, yes, right? That's Everybody right. does. Yes, that's and right. we don't have as many med spas compared to El Paso, no. but the El demand is here. The demand is here. It's a lot smaller, but definitely there's a demand here. Everyone wants to look beautiful. They'll, they'll ditch, I don't know, their kids' college tuition to look beautiful. <laughs> it's true though. We hate to say it, but it's true. It's true. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about what you offer as far as injectables and go down the list for me. Okay, so we offer injectables, we offer Botox fillers, we also offer PRP, we do hydrofacial. What is PRP, for those who don't know? So with PRP, we actually pull your blood and we inject it into an area for like hair growth, where I could also inject it to the face and it can act like a filler and rejuvenate your face. That is so awesome. And then you said all sorts of facials, right? From the hydrofacial, hydrofacial. to what else? Okay, yes. and then what else? Um, we also offer cool sculpting, which is amazing. It's so popular right now. Yes. We've done segments on cool sculpting. And again, for those, if you haven't seen our past segments, explain to us quickly what cool sculpting is. Okay, so cool sculpting actually draws your fat into a vacuum applicator. It um, kills the fat molecule by freezing it, and it is permanently reduced. You get about a 25% reduction. It's amazing. And the cool thing is that you don't have to go under the knife. Like you come in, you right. go back to work, and then you That's tend right. to see results over several weeks, but it's effective, right? Oh, absolutely. You can answer emails, you can Netflix, you can do whatever you yeah. want, and just freeze fat while you do it. And originally people were doing it for the, those little muffin tops back here, but now right. we're starting to see that people could do it for the arms, for the legs, underneath the chin, right? But that's why it's so popular because you don't have to have surgery that's and people right. like that. And it's right. affordable too, but we'll, we'll talk about prices. If you want information, you can go to their website. All right, so talk about what people come in here and, and how much injectables can take off a person's face when we're talking about like from Botox to fillers. So with a combination of Botox and filler, 10 to 15 years, easy. Yeah. I mean, it really can freshen up a face. And, Absolutely. And it can look natural too. You want to trust who you're doing. You've yes. been in business a long, yes. long time. If you want to come and visit Sandy, if you yes. don't know where she is, she's here in Las Cruces. We're going to have all her, inf all her information on our website. Head on over to ktsm.com and click on the Studio 9 tab. Thanks so much, Sandy. Thank you, Patty. She's going to give me a little consultation right now. Yay. Next on Studio 9, we take you inside the workout that will have you burning tons of calories in 30 minutes. We get our sweat on next on Studio 9.
Studio 9 sponsored by Tropicana Homes, building homes in the El Paso area for more than 69 years. Tropicana has been recognized locally and across the state multiple times as the best builder of the year and best developer of the year. There are nine Tropicana communities currently serving the El Paso area. Find out more about Tropicana on our website at ktsm.com and click on the Studio 9 tab. Okay, if you're looking to get in better shape, we have just the place for you. I'm here at TK Fit with owner Kai Malachi. Now we hear a lot about them, HIIT workouts. Explain to me very simply what a HIIT workout is. Yeah. HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Okay. okay. What we're doing is twice the results in half the amount of time. In 30 minute sessions, we're doing just the right amount of cardio to burn fat, just the right amount of strength resistance to build lean tone muscle, but not that bulky muscle and getting people in and out who are busy with their lives and doing more than what most gyms are doing in an hour to two hours. And most everyone is busy. And the biggest thing that you hear is that I don't have time to work out. 30 minutes makes it easy. Talk about the type of exercise that people will do during that 30 minute time. Yeah, um, they're gonna get one cardio and one strength per station in circuit training. And um, they might be doing push-ups, burpees, um, squats. The ropes as we see behind the us. The battle ropes, those are great. They're really great for tightening and toning. Just to kind of get your heart rate up, right? Definitely, it'll get your heart rate going. And talk about why the HIIT workouts work. Because they're quick, they're 30 minutes, but that's really all you need. That's what research says. So explain that to me. Yes, yes. <clears throat> if you're doing too much cardio, which is more than 20 minutes of cardio, you actually go into a catabolic state where you're burning muscle. Oh, and you don't want to do that? that no, that's the opposite of what you want yeah. to do. Muscle burns fat. So um, you don't want to do too much cardio or too much strength resistance, actually. So you're just getting the perfect combination here. I like you said, the perfect combination. And they're also quick. You come in, you leave, you have that like energy pumped. And it's in a group setting, which also helps. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we work really hard to build a good community here, a fit family. Nobody's left out. Everybody's welcome. Um, doesn't matter race, religion, everybody here just loves each other and, and it, it's like a second family. And so everybody's encouraging. You're not on your own. Where most gyms where you have access to equipment, you're by yourself, you might feel kind of lost. Everybody welcomes, hey, come over, work next yeah. to me. Let me help you out. You push each other, high five each other. It's a great atmosphere that we've and created. And you're building that, that like stamina and that strength day by day. Talk about the results you're getting because of that, because you're making 30 minutes, which isn't a lot. You can find 30 minutes to work out, right? Yeah, 30 minutes is just 2% of your day. That's you, it. And it's important and you see the results. Yes, the results. We guarantee our results here. We've had several people in the 100 pound club who have lost over 100 pounds. Our record, we're, we're known for our six week challenge and our, our record is 46 pounds lost in six weeks. That is so, so awesome. The hit workouts, yeah, certainly in the news, this is a place to be TK Fit. Now you have two locations, one in West El Paso, one in East El Paso, covering everybody. People can get memberships. Tell me, I mean, why people come need to come check it out? Um, need to come check it out because this is a type of training here with certified trainers that can modify any exercise, doesn't matter what injury or disability you have, anybody can do it. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter the level, where you start, no. you're gonna work with people and then you'll see the improvement if you keep coming back. It's consistency too. And consistency is key. Keep yes. coming back. All right, thanks so much, Kai. Of course, we're gonna have all the information for TK Fit on our website. Head on over to ktsm.com. We're gonna have a link for their website. As always, click on the Studio 9 tab. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this week. That's it for Studio 9. Again, we want to thank all our servicemen and women who have served. We honor you as we look ahead to Veterans Day. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patricia Myers. My crew and I will be back next week with a special show. We'll see you then. Have a great weekend and stay El Paso strong.